Hey everybody, it's your old pal Jam, back once again with another Hidden Gems Rare Finds Pickups Extravaganza video brought to you by Jam. Uh, wow, it is such a hard time being a, a game collector in the modern age. I mean, everyone owns a cell phone, everyone has more money than you, everyone's everyone's always outbidding you, and uh, what wh what's a gamer to do? What's a, a fellow like myself to do in such a competitive scene out there? I mean, I've got, I've got so little money left. Man, I am just doing super swell. I, I picked up some exclusive games that nobody else out there is talking about, okay? Except for right here on Jam's videos. And uh, I scored all these for a reasonable price. I'm not going to say what they are because I don't want to influence... And I don't want to influence all you watchers out there that are gonna pick up all these games after this video when it drops. Uh, but 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 I'm happy to share them with you. So uh, today's theme is a little bit different. So uh, the market's been very competitive lately, and there's been uh, a lot of retro games out there that I would normally have my eye on, and I would normally throw all my money and my earnings and loans at, but. This time around, I, I I had to flip the script. Uh, Jam had to change some things up here uh, due due to uh, money reasons, and uh, you just you get tired of the rat race after losing so many times, or being outbid, or paying over five hundred dollars over the average price for a game. So, old Jamie here went went and flipped the script. Today's theme is buying the things that nobody wants because uh, th then nobody's going to outbid you. Okay, so uh, today's today's first pickup uh, comes to you all the way from eBay, the magical world of eBay. Bet you haven't seen this one in a while. Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Ninja Pro-Am. Uh, it came in a custom box. Oh. Uh... Uh, it came in a custom box, uh, something that you won't see anymore. It, it's in a a bubble printer, a dot matrix printer right there. It's not official cover art, as you can see. It's a little bit lower quality uh, because this one came out of a video rental store. In fact, <sighs> it came out of, can you read that? Focus, please, please focus. Focus. Oh, God, camera, please focus. Oh. oh, I was a little worried there. I mean, it, what what would happen if my subs couldn't read that? Please focus. Please focus. Please. There you have it, family. There you, there you, there you have it, family video. That's where it came from. Family video is an old uh, video movie rental place uh, used to be I mean the, some of them still remain some of them are have gone the way of the buffalo many many video rental stores there used to be a place where people would uh, rent games and rent rent movies and stuff and then uh, the word got out about streaming services like Netflix Hulu Amazon Prime Crackle Crunchyroll and then um, after that I mean nobody wants to leave their house and they just order everything straight to their TV computers tablets or mobile devices it's kind of the case here it's like that's why this game is so rare because y you can't get something like this anymore I mean this is a one-of-a-kind uh, exclusive to video rental shops and uh, just just for that reason itself uh, it's going to be well sought after and uh, it was worth its weight in gold and speaking of gold I won't tell you how much I spent on this somewhere in the ballpark of $500 you know how it goes uh, you know I had to uh, I got in a little bit of a bidding war this time with myself I wanted to make sure I got this game and no one else got this game so uh, I kept bidding back and forth, and I was the only bidder in this one, but came out on top. So I consider that a small little personal victory. Happy to have this one on the shelf. I'll eventually get around to playing it. Great game, Hidden Jam. Cool, awesome, fun. All right, uh, this time around, I, I went a little bit outside the box, or shall I say inside the box, Call of Duty 2, free t-shirt. 
edition. Yeah, this one's actually uh, not the full Call of Duty 2 game. They didn't really include that in the description. It's actually just a plain old green Call of Duty 2 t-shirt. And this uh, sequel to the game of the year, the, the, they're talking, of course, about the original Call of Duty. Yeah, this this one's Call of Duty 2. Uh, the, this was printed back in 2005. This, this shirt has been sealed for over a decade now and some change most people love to own gaming memorabilia uh, and some people like to wear it around i personally would not wear this shirt this is strictly a strategic purchase because uh, they recently remade the first call of duty right so when they remake a game well, and that's success, right? Everyone's out there buying it. Well, of course, they're going to come out and remake Call of Duty 2. So right when that hits, I'm already going to have a Call of Duty 2 t-shirt. So it only makes fiscal financial sense that I would have this ready to sell. So I'm normally against resellers, but in this case... Uh, I, I was the only one thinking about this. So, you know, I'm going to be ahead of the curve when they remake, uh, Call of Duty 2. So, uh, this one has already been opened. It, the, the description said it was sealed, but it's been open and there are a couple of pit stains and Dorito crumbs all up in it. But I think that, I think that just, it's like a good seasoning on a steak. You, you just, it only enhances the quality of of your purchase and uh i won't include that in the description when i resell it uh but uh you know dims the brakes kiddo a uh, buyer beware happy to have this hidden gem promo item exclusive to gamestop circa 2005 uh everyone's just beating down my door trying to trying to fi find out how i i get such cool things in my collection uh but uh i only divulge the secret to the elite few who watch these videos so I'm happy, I'm happy you're here. Uh, go check out uh, gimmedollar.com slash give to jam. Give to jam. Gimmedollar.com slash give to jam so I can buy more good promo stuff like this that are, that's just going to sit on the shelf and I'm not going to open it. <laughs> happy to have this hidden gem rare find VG rated 70 plus T Call of Duty 2 t-shirt. Welcome to the collection. So good. Some of you out there didn't know Old Jam was a collector of uh, action figures, or they call them scale models. Some of them, like, you know, it's like a 1 8th, 1 20th. Uh, this one I really don't know the dimensions of or the, the metrics, but uh, this is something uh, It's a little racy. This may get my video demonetized for sexual content, uh, but this is a family-friendly show, so... Uh, Kiddos, cover your eyes because we've got a lady visiting the channel. Hello. Say say hello everyone. This is this is Ivy. Uh this is this is my favorite character to play as in Soul Calibur and I I'll I'll give you two reasons why. Not the butt cheeks. The boobs. She is uh she is more jiggly than a, a packet of Bill Cosby brand jello right there. Let me tell you. I don't want to admit how much I paid for this, but it was somewhere in the ballpark of $500. I don't want to tell you if I paid $500, but that's kind of what I did. I know this next pickup might be a little controversial and uh, may turn off some of you viewers out there that uh, don't don't believe in this stuff because it's kind of an illegal gray area. And uh, if uh, I don't get rid of it within 24 hours... Uh, the, the FBI might be at my house have a little talk about this one. But uh, I went down into the deep web, to the, the deep web video game collecting scene. And, uh, you know, I I threw my Bitcoins all at this. I uh, had to dig up my old Bitcoin wallet. I had about a 1,000 when I, I bought them directly from Satoshi back in, 20, <laughs> back in 2013. And uh, I, I thought, I, you know, no, Bitcoin is not the future. Nobody's out there using it. So I might as well buy something tangible, a little, a little shady. But here here we go. I, don't judge. Don't, no hate stream. I bought the Ring Terror's Realm. And I know that looks a lot like my handwriting, but I, I didn't burn this one myself. I, I bought it on the deep web forum and uh, 
I, I had to trade some Bitcoins, but I, I think it's worth it. It's a high-quality game. It's known as one of the best survival horror games on the Dreamcast and possibly of all time. The quality of it looks like it was burned at uh, 12x burn speed. You're not really supposed to burn them in that fast if you if you want lossless uh quality but um i really wanted this game quick quick to my door i i paid for single day same day shipping i waited outside until i the ups guy came by made eye contact with him i made sure to give him both my signature uh, signature verification thumbprint verification and verbal confirmation Got all three of those had to have it. Okay, guys, now it's time for everyone's favorite section, the Gimme Dollar Question of the Month. Yay. Uh, it comes to us from Firefighter FD18 Fan. Uh, wow, what a specific name for a very special, specific game. Uh, I almost had that one in my grasp. I only had about 20 more bucks. On top of that $500 bid, we would be spraying down some fires in a Konami Wonderland. Alright, this month's question is... Dear Jam, I see that you buy a lot of video games, probably more than the average person. And you like to buy the most premium, high quality stuff. And I respect you, and I think you're a little cool. Just a little cool. My question is... How do you pay for all of your bills if you're buying all these video games all the time? Oh, God. Well, guys, I knew this question would come. Looks like we have a troll donator. I'm, I'm completely... I'm, I'm completely okay, guys. I, I pay all my bills on time. I own three credit cards, and I, I, I think... As an adult, I know how to manage a, a budget. So please, stop asking. Yes, I I make enough money to fund the channel and fund my hobby and pay pay my pay my bills. Stop asking.